All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Camille top lane. We're playing versus counter match of Darius. And for the runes, we got Grasp this game. We got Shield Bash, Bone Plating on the Flame Chain. We got Magical and also Running Biscuits. Now today I want to showcase you guys Camille. Um, just so you guys know, I'm very surprised about the play rate from Camille. She has been, uh, she has been S tier or well, God tier for a very long time. And she's actually quite popular, uh, specific towards the high though. If you're looking for a champ to snowball, like Camille's definitely in them. I'll show you this game of what she's capable of. Also, a fun little secret about Camille. Camille, since the day that she got released to the game, she has been my second main uh, for years, like absolute years. Haven't played her so much recently, as you guys have probably noticed, but she has been so good. Let me show you. Unfortunately, this matchup is very bad. Uh, Camille to Darius is straight up a loss in the in the first couple levels. Very unfortunate to say that, but once you make a lead in this matchup, you are going to snowball very hard. It's just that like Darius is straight up all in potential. Even in moments like that where I can try and last it, if if this guy grabs me or uh, slows me with W, and my E gets cancelled. I am basically dead. So it's a, it's a terrible one. Okay. We're going to choose to play the safe for the first couple levels. We have my jungler pathing top. I can't play grass in the dares in the level 1-2. There's no way I can. Like, unless I get a really good shove. I was thinking this game about going even PDA or going fleet. Uh, just to make the matchup better. But I want to showcase you guys the most optimal setup into all sorts of matchups, including like everything, pretty much. That's why I'm running Grasp. Uh, Fleet and PDA are more specific. Let's hope we can get as much of these as possible. Uh, okay. Oh, I got both. Nice. <laughs> to, to be honest, I was about to miss them both, but... Let's see, I'm still getting them. Okay. We are going to put this lane into a very heavy a slow push. So when Darius comes back with item advantage, I hope that I can face him. It's very unlikely if I can, though. I think he can probably still beat me. But we'll see. If I stack this very well together, I hope that I can be fine here. Yep. He's waiting for my E here. Oh, nice. Okay, use it now. Nice. So that's... Oh, he's going for an instant flash? Wow. Nice one. Okay, I, I'm having the ability to beat him now. It is possible. I can do it. It depends on if he grabs me now. Grab me. Come on. Grab me. Yeah, I'm going in anyways. There you go. Counter matchup beaten. Nice. I'm happy, man. I still have to shove the wife in, by the way. It would have been more optimal, though, if he grabbed me. I was hoping he would grab me, but he didn't, so... Now you see how close it gets. Okay, good shove. Let's go. Hopefully we're in time. So, let me tell you guys about Camille one thing. There's one thing you guys need to know about when you play this champion. And I've been talking about, about this for years. Um, let's get into it. Wait a second. I'll, I'll probably buy this one instead of the Sheen so I can have the movement speed temporarily. So I can actually outrun him a little bit at the very least because I got magical this game. Let's go for this and this. So, um, what you need to know about Camille, there's one thing. This champion... Scales really well, like really well. Uh, like most of the top lane matchups, you're going to end up outscaling, uh, uh, with a few exceptions. Now, um, despite having a good early game, there's one weakness that she has, and I don't like that weakness. She has real terrible wave clear, like absolute, just it's it's terrible. In comparison with other top laners, the wave clear is just ridiculously bad. Now I've been, uh, you know, I, I <laughs> you have to deal with it. Now, um, 
when you play Camille, you're eventually going to buy Tiamat into Hydra. And that build gives you a fix to that weakness. And once you build it, you no longer have issues with Wave Clear. Like, that's, the, that's why you build Hydra, after all. That's the main reason you're building Hydra for. So, you have to play the laning phase extremely smart. That's all I'm saying. Oh! <laughs> I jumped across, but he didn't walk backwards. Okay. <clears throat> uh, wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Come back to me, wave. I need to collect this wave. Hold on. Let's drag it. There you go. Nice. Fantastic. I'm uh, choosing to uh, hold this wave because Darius actually just died. Which means that if we hold this wave, he will lose the cannon wave. Because this wave is going to focus the cannon. And it's going to give us a very massive lead against them. Keep holding. There you go. And I think I might just let this wave go under tower. Because Darius will be back now. Good. Uh, let's stop one. That's all right. I don't want to use my E here, so please. Got, got it, okay. The best advice I can give in this matchup is to not use your E at all. Uh, if you go in and he grabs you and you press your E, you're dead. Literally, you're dead. 100%. There's no way to come back from it. So keep that in mind as you play this matchup out. Your E is extremely valuable here. So it's all about trying to shove the wave in now. Oh, okay, he actually said it. Okay, he hit the grab. Goodbye. Nice, his uh, grab is on cooldown right now. I actually stand a chance to beat him. Wait a second. Okay, seems like he doesn't. Let's uh, use my knight to snowball. I I'm going to try and kill him right here. Um, we have like a slight item adventure still, even though I didn't buy anything. Oh, I don't beat this. No, I don't. This guy is all the way back to full HP again. Ah, that's unfortunate. I don't get the farm. <clears throat> nope, I don't get to farm this. I will lose the 1v1. I can't. There's nothing I could. This this matchup is so bad. I absolutely don't like it. I've got two kills. Still can't beat him. I have a one level lead. Still don't beat him. I just don't. Could maybe try here though. I have maybe a chance here. Nice. Okay. So the reason why it's now winnable is because I'm actually close to terrain where I can uh, more efficiently use my E. If you have terrain around you, the closer you are at the terrain, the more efficiently you can use your E. Okay. I couldn't dodge it. I have no E, remember. Ooh, nice. He's not grabbing me though. I hope he's gonna grab me right here. It's all about his grab. His grab decides a lot of things. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's get that focus. Nice. Love that rotation from my team. I was getting ganked by Felcos, and then my team comes over and, you know, supports me. Really good, efficient E right there. I hit, like, uh, five targets or something like that. I don't know. Plenty. And all we have to do right now is shove this in. And that's it. <coughs> okay. So, we officially have Journey Force, the best item that gold can buy this game. I'm serious. Like, it's the best item you can buy. Now, what I like about Trinity. Is that you have to, you've, you of course have the Sheen proc, you have all the stuff, you have the, you know, the effect from Trinity, uh, good for kiting and stuff. Um, 
when you rush Trinity, you have straight up the biggest power spike you can get on Camille. Now, of course, you can also buy Tiamat early on for the wave clear, which I explained before, but that delays the uh, Trinity, which is just really bad for you. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, I need to wait the passive out, and we got him. I beat him. I will. I need five seconds and then I will. Oh, I have no charge on my Q anymore. I think it's gone actually. I don't think I beat him. Okay. It is officially time. The problem that we had the entire game is officially fixed. There you go. We have AoE now. We finally have Wave Clear. I, I love this part of the... This is the most fun part of the game. When you get uh, Trinity and you have Tiamat, I would say this is where the game begins. This is where Camille is at its peak, man. Especially once you uh, eventually buy Hydra. Hydra is so nice. It is so great, bro. But it, once you buy Tiamat, it's, it's game changing. It's going to change everything. It's going to change your combo too. Like everything. Everything that comes with it. Look, look at this. We, we have zero issues right now. This is what the item does. Good. Let's go for plates before it expires. I hope at least I can. I don't think I can actually. Thank you very much. I'm going to see if I can beat up the film cars here. Shut down. Cause. Where's this guy? He's not here? Where did that Felcross go? Okay, apparently he's not here anymore. Maybe he's still topside. I don't know. No, doesn't seem to be the case. Oh man, I love the... I, I love Team Adam Camille. It's the best thing in the game. Yeah, plates are gone, so we are going to go to the next plan. I don't get that rotation. There's no way I can. I think that there's not much I can do. He's forcing me back. No, I don't. No, 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 no. No, I don't. The passive got me. <laughs> I got like two out of this one. And I nearly lived. That would have been a joke if I did. <laughs> Alright. I can buy my Hydra right now within like 250. Let's go, dude. Um, I think I'll go for this and this. <clears throat> We're going Lucidity so I can snowball the game faster. That's my plan. And uh, after we go Hydra, we will then go Sterx Gauge for the uh, the Tenacity. This is super nice to have. Also, it seems like Darius is actually going for Trinity himself. Trinity Force on Darius is super OP in this matchup. Just so you guys know, it's... Not quite a fun to play against. <clears throat> I'm glad he lost the full wave, by the way. That's really good. I need to get out of this matchup as fast as possible. I have a two-level lead currently, so I'm technically I'm stronger than him. 
But uh, remember what I told you guys before, this guy only needs one simple all-in with the grab, and that's it. So I'm technically avoiding him a little bit. I'm getting ganked, I guess? I don't know. Am I getting ganked or what's going on? Why would you want to fight a Camille who's three levels ahead, huh? I don't believe that. I don't believe this. Yeah, there was a jungler involved. Of course there was. Yeah. We can turn this. I can jump really far. Okay. Decision should have been made faster. Let's push this out. Okay. We're good to go again. The way for push in. Let's grab the other wave too, which comes. Uh, also, Dare should be here soon, any moment from now. Ooh. Ooh. Better run. Better not get caught by this. Okay, I can buy Hydra right now. Let's go. Let's see if I can do a rotation to mid. I think I can't, by the way. I love this champion. This is literally why. This is why Camille is considered to be so strong for the longest time in the game. It's the long E, it's the fact that you can, you know, lock someone down, you have you have your Q, your it's a ridiculous damage which works against all uh, enemy comps. You know, the, the true damage. Every everything on this champ is just made for the game, dude. Wait, that's also a gin up there? Uh, it's two versus three, so he better be very careful right there. Yeah, he's dead. Let's pick up more. And let's go again. <coughs> I'm uh, shoving out the lane on purpose so that Thelkos is formed, uh, forced to farm. And uh, we just go back here. But wait, wait a second. I think that they might overextend. And there you go. We just got another one for free. As you can see, my Q does ridiculous damage. That's just what Camille does. Oh, I'll go cancel them then. Hitting me, dude. Is that how I die? Feels bad, man. Got a wreck by the fell cost. <clears throat> I was hoping that when I I was trying to like move out of the 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 gen, but uh, I I didn't have Rel moving me. Uh, Gel wasn't. Uh, I mean, my support. Uh, Rel wasn't moving with me along with me here, so I was having trouble. Let's go. What a delicious shade of gray. I think I might have to go around back top lane actually, but before we do, I'm just gonna take the farm in mid. And then we take the next wave and uh, then we go top and beat up the Stereos. Actually, I think we can probably do that now. He's overextending for sure. Nice. 
cameras. Okay, I'll just pick this up, and then we go back to mid. Actually, I think that we can probably keep on fighting uh, right here. Uh, they might walk back to mid for the farm. Wait. I'm on the way. Very good. <clears throat> Darius will remain a scary champion forever. I don't know if I want to go for this, but... Doesn't seem to be here anymore. Okay, I'm uh, I'm resetting so I can just buy Stark's Gauge because this item is a very big power spike to me. I need to buy this item. Nice, got it. Okay, so the fourth item is going to be very, very, very much situational. But what I'm considering doing this game is maybe going for. Um, Either Shoujin, Death Sense, or Guardian's Angel. I think that this game, the more optimal way of building would probably uh, probably be Guardian's Angel since we don't have a good jungler uh, in this game. Like Kha'Zix since the Dark Team comp is really bad. So I'm considering going for Guardian's Angel so I can all in use that item for a good fight. I think it's probably warded, so I probably don't even have to try. An enemy has been slain. <clears throat> There's a Morgana up there, uh, somewhere in this jungle. I don't know where she's going. Not here, actually. Thank you. And probably have to go back top again. Uh, wait a second. I think we can maybe go for this. No one seems to appear. Darius is actually there right now, so I'm going to help him out. Uh, he's already dead. The jungle's still alive, but I guess we can probably do it. Yeah, jungle doesn't seem to know. Yep. They don't realize that we're doing it. Nice, free, uh, free Baron, let's go. Uh, the Draco spawn in like 30. Alright, let's go back here. Yep, we are officially buying Guardian's Angel right now because we unfortunately do not have a proper tank this game aside from my support. I think if I go for GA, I can go all in myself and uh, start up a fight for my team. This might not be... We might not be able to fight for a trade because we don't have my support anymore, so...
2,000 from this guy. <clears throat> hmm. I, um, I, I played that so optimal though. I, uh, I've got the perfect all in. I've got Falcos down. Morgana was out of the team fight. She wasn't even there. Yeah, we still lost the team fight afterwards. Uh... Hmm. I'm not going to sell my Dorn's Blade, we'll keep it. Okay. Maybe I can change. Maybe I can. They don't seem to be here anymore. Nah, they ran off. Privilege must be preserved at Very well then, we uh, we got no catches at all. Ruth Completely zero. But I also can't walk in the bush there, because if I do, then we might get into a Jin combo. With the, the CC and then I die. Probably a very bad idea, I guess. Actually, we're four people here? An ally has been slain. Let's keep going. The, that Jin and Durs are going to die here, I hope. Seems like a very good team fight though. Uh, this is looking like a loss here to be honest. <laughs> yep. Seems like an unplayable team fight. Yeah, he already ran off. No chance to get him. I need like 200 gold so I can go for a GA. Nice one. Yeah, I can officially buy the Guardian Angel right now. Then that means that we only need one more item this game. And I think I have a good idea what that's probably going to be. I need one more wave and then I'm happy. Actually, in fact, like, it would be nice if I can get uh, uh, to the tower. I'm 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 totally ready. Sell that so we can go this one. Okay, I am ready. This is the most optimal team fight we can ever have with this build. It can't be any better than this. We have a complete all-in build. Uh, just at the moment when Dragon is about to appear. She is super important. Yeah. Nice. Not only can we get dragon, but we can get everything. I think we can also go... We can go Baron after the dragon. Uh, 
Let's go. We have to hurry up. They will spawn in like 15 seconds. Nah, who cares about this wave, man? Just go for it. The faster we can do Baron, the, uh, the more chances that we will obtain it. I still have my GA. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at this. I still got my Guardian's Angel. Look at this, bro. <laughs> he didn't get his ultimate on me. He died right before it. <laughs> Let's go. What a fast turn in the game. What is my AD carry doing, by the way? Oh, my team didn't react on this. What is my AD carry doing, though? My AD carry is completely gone. Uh. Oh man, I, I pinked this guy too. I think that Jinx lost his brain for a second. I even pinked him with question marks, letting him know what he's doing. And he still went on and went bot lane. <laughs> we could have finished the game, bro. We could have finished the game if AD carry was actually coming mid too. Literally the biggest damage we have and he's not there. Okay, no problem. Mistakes are made. I unfortunately lost my GA. <clears throat> if Jinx continues going, this guy will die. I'll give it... 20 seconds, not 15 seconds. This guy will die in 15 seconds. Let's see. I'm counting, man. I'm counting it. <laughs> I told you guys. Oh, she gets away. Oh. <laughs> I was literally counting, bro. Never split push on AD carry, guys. Don't copy this guy. Don't do it. Terrible mistake. Yeah, this is a gin right there. Nice. Alright, let's go. Like 50% of their whole team is down right now, so this is where it ends. Later. Let's try. Want to check this out? Check this out. Alright. Hey, this is Camille Top Lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Camille video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.